Good morning, everybody. Today is, I think today is Wednesday, but I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I tried to make this video about four times this morning and either my phone rung or something happened where I got interrupted and didn't make the video. So I actually um, am just starting my shift and realistically, I should have been gone about 15 minutes ago, but I said I'm not leaving until I make this video <laughs> because I am sure that somebody out here needs to hear this okay I want to talk about negativity all right so nobody's perfect I guess but the point is even the happiest most jolliest person out here faces some challenges and may sometimes feel sad or uneasy or angry everybody's different so the the differences would range from maybe just feeling sad to uneasy to unhappy to anger to rage depending on the person depending on the temperament depending on the situation so point is this morning I woke up feeling a little uneasy just a little bothered by petty things like realistically like sometimes I think I have nothing better to do than to think about nonsense but anyway I was feeling a little uneasy and then of course your energy will attract like energy so my uneasiness just kept escalating and escalating until it got to a point where I'm like look this is not what I'm into this is not the mood that I want for today this is not the attitude that I want to have throughout my day so I realized that when I start to get uneasy or unhappy or upset that's telling me that I am losing control of myself so now what I do is I take it to the Creator if I am upset about something or uneasy about something and it's escalating within myself I would say God universe I don't want to feel like this how can I get out of this mood? so I just want to let you know that it is understandable and it is normal to not wake up happy you don't have to wake up happy but you have to know that you have a choice you have a choice to be happy or you have a choice to be unhappy you have a choice to be sad or you have a choice to be uneasy it is up to you on how you respond to certain situations and even if you choose to be sad based on the situation it is nothing wrong with that however don't want these feelings to take over your day your week your month your life you don't want it to have adverse reactions or cause adverse reactions with you and other people so you don't want these these feelings even though they are normal and they are justifiable you don't want them to adversely affect your interactions with others so that's where your choice comes in and quickly what I wanted to say is to is that you can stop this feeling you can stop you know these emotions if you can't do it on your own there are tools there's prayer you can pray talk to God talk to the higher power talk to the infinite intelligence I always say it doesn't matter what entity you believe in talk to that entity don't feel like you have to face these things by yourself these emotions by yourself call a friend if you have someone that's supportive someone that's not going to be judgmental and just will listen to you and hear you out you can call that person and talk to that person but what I choose to do is I don't know if you can hear the music in the background. There you go. I turned it up. So you hear that? That's actually called a self-visual frequency. So we are all energy. Everything is energy. We are combined of protons, electrons, neutrons, um, inanimate, adamant, tangible objects that you can feel, the steering wheel, my shirt, whatever. Everything is made up of atoms. It's all, it, it all boils down to energy. So, music is a frequency. The frequency responds to the vibrations that the energy that we are made up of moves.
rules against. So basically, whatever frequency I am vibrating on is going to have some kind of a reaction with the music, with the frequency of the tone. So right now I'm listening to a sufficient frequency and it's 417. And this frequency is to help with negative, to, it's, it's to help with removing negative energy. So when I feel like I'm in, in a state of unease or I am easily irritated, I know that it's time for me to meditate. And I meditate using Sophistry frequencies. There are nine frequencies and I urge you to do research about them. But right now I just want to talk about 417. So 417 will help cleanse your aura and it will help remove negative energy. So they have you can simply go on YouTube and you can pull one up there are tons of them and they're different lengths so um, at a minimum I would say you should listen to the frequency for one hour depending on the depth of your mood so if you're feeling really 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 negative you maybe you should probably listen to it for more than an hour two hours and I guarantee you, you will start to feel better and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because you know, it's easy to get out here and to be jolly and excited, and that's the way you should be. That's the way to live. However, there are things within us that cause us to be sad sometimes. There are uh, situations that happen in our environment that cause us to be upset sometimes. And I just wanted to let you know that there's nothing wrong with that. But the the the, the see, there it goes again. The phone. The thing, the important thing is your response to the, you have a. See, my video keeps getting interrupted. But the point is, I want you to know that you have a choice in your response to your emotions. There are tools that you can use. Meditation, prayer, sulfigial frequencies. This video is mainly about the frequencies and how it helps because there's such a thing called music therapy. And if you have time, please research it. Um, I'm going to do a couple videos about the sulfigial frequencies and... Um, and healing therapy with the free frequencies but I just briefly wanted to let you know that it is okay if you feel sad it's okay if you feel angry it is a natural response to things that are going on within yourself and things in the environment but you have to make a choice and you want to make a choice that's going to be beneficial to you in the long term as far as um, outcomes so basically if you're upset and you choose to do something irrational there's going to be a consequence now the consequence may not be good and it may affect your life in the future so that's what i'm saying it is okay to have these feelings but just be aware of the choice that you respond with and understand that there's a consequence so just um respond with the or choose to respond in a way that will benefit you in the future whatever that choice is okay or whatever that response is i just want to say that real quick and i hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and be strong stay positive talk to the higher power pray meditate listen look for signs from the higher power because the higher power also speaks to you